Welcome to Shri RSC classes. So today we will learn about the addition of unlike fractions. So first of all, let us understand what is the meaning of unlike fractions. So unlike fractions are those fractions which have different denominators. So they have different denominators. For example, as you can see, there are two fractions given on the screen, which are two third and five quarters. So you can see that both of them are having different denominators, which are three and four respectively. That means both of the fractions are unlike fractions. Now, Today we will learn how we can add two unlike fractions because if we are having like fractions, so it's easy to add them up. But when we have unlike fractions, we have to make them like fractions first of all. And for that, we need to make their denominators same. And for that, let me show you what is going to be the first step. So step number one is... to take the LCM of the denominators. So, we all know that the LCM of 3 and 4 will be 12. So, basically what we will do, we will write 12 at the place of denominators in both of the fractions because now 12 will be the denominator for both of them. Now, the next step is to see what you are doing, what you are changing and how you are changing. Okay. So step number two is, this is the main step. Use the concept of equivalent fraction. If you don't know about it, no problem. I'll explain it to you. So basically, the rule is again very simple. So see, first of all, you were having 3 before, right? But now somehow you are getting this 12. So see, what you must have done with the 3 to get this 12. So we all know that if we multiply this 3 by 4, you will get this 12. Now, according to the rule of equivalent fraction, whatever you do with the denominator, you have to do the same thing with the numerator as well. That means if you are multiplying this denominator, which is 3 by 4, then you have to do the same thing with the numerator. So numerator is 2. That means you will multiply this 2 as well by 4. And if you do so, you will get 8. That means your equivalent fraction for 2 thirds is going to be 8 twelfth. Now, we will apply the same step to the next fraction as well. First of all, you will see how you are getting this 12 at the bottom because you were having this 4 at the beginning. So, let's see what you must have done with the 4. So, basically, we must have multiplied this 4 with the 3. Now, according to the rule of equivalent fraction, if you are multiplying the denominator by 3, you have to do the same thing with the numerator as well. And in this case, a numerator is 5. That means you have to multiply the 5 as well by 3. And if you do so, so 5 times 3 is 15. That means now we are getting the second fraction as 15. 12th. Now see, both of the fractions have become like fractions because both of them are having same denominator. And it's very simple to add like fractions. You just need to keep the denominator same and add the numerators together. So if you add 15 and 8, you will get 23 and the denominator will stay the same. So your final answer will be 23 twelfths. Okay, I hope you liked the video and thank you.